is going to hurt a lot. What's up guys? We're here with Miguel, last name? Santana. Santana. I just did his work, hand balancing workshop. He is not a yoga instructor. Hand balancing teacher. teacher. So you were uh, talking a little bit. I want you to, how, how long and how much dedication has it taken to get where you're at? Okay, so I've been practicing now for nearly three years. Next month's coming out for three years. I normally practice myself between... I try 20 to 30 hours a week, wow. so five days, six times, yeah. five, six times a week, two, three, four, so it depends on what the schedules look like. I would like to be like at least 20, 30 hours a week, yeah. Wow. That's include, don't take it wrong, that's include flexibility, strength, and technique, and you know. And, uh, how many hours did you estimate that you've been on your hands? Well, for three years, you put uh, 30 hours is go to up uh, four plus thousand hours. Four plus thousand hours. Yeah, yeah man, well, that's a full time hand balance of that. Uh, Guys, I really appreciate for everyone that's following my work and everyone that's been coming to, to all my workshops around the world. Please feel free to follow my work, ask any question. Feel free to invite me for workshops and yeah, just watch this space. Awesome, yeah, I would definitely recommend a, a workshop with Miguel, and especially if you're just getting started because he'll teach you the right approach. You may not like it, <laughs> it may not be what you expected, but it's the right way to do it. If you want to learn how to do a handstand the right way, this okay. is your guy. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Miguel. Ooh, uh, awesome. So what I gathered with my time with Miguel is that he, I would consider him a professional, a hand balancer. And what it requires to get to the level he's at is passion, is like admiration, is, uh, is just dedication. And you have to wake up loving what you're doing on a daily basis, excited. You have to be excited to go through those developmental stages that it requires to get to wherever you're going. And guys, if you're not loving what you're doing right now, if you're not extremely passionate about it, then most likely you'll never become great about it, great at it. You have to really enjoy the journey and go from enduring the journey, not enduring it, but enjoying it. And I would encourage you to spend some time with some professionals. We recently spent some time with a professional chef at our last retreat. And it's just amazing to see them work in their trade and to be so diligent in uh, working in their processes. It's just awesome. It's inspirational. Hang out with some professionals, guys, and you one day will become a professional yourself but you have to start enjoying the daily practice of whatever you're doing. Work hard, because it's gonna to be tough as crap. Work hard, guys. Doing push-ups and pull-ups, eating dinosaur wiener. Make sure they're ripe. 